likely to be Mechagreens Greens coming out. He sees the engineering bay and the research. Surely uh, he must have seen that with the Overlord, even though the game commentators didn't show it. The Korean commentators, I should say. Um, so, uh, Jae Dong knows that some sort of uh, infantry push is likely. So he should respond well by getting a few lurkers and maybe a sunken or two at the front and he should be perfectly fine. Uh, Lita still not really going for any sort of expansion. A uh, very low econ game uh, for both players really. Uh, Jadong forced to get quite a bit of military Scouting SCV by Lita getting picked off there. Lita has a large force of raves here. Unfortunately, he's only managed to pick off the odd hydralis or two and a few drones. Not critical damage by any measure. Uh, he's using this cliff fairly well to deal with uh, some extra damage to these hydralis, making it so that only one or two hydralis can attack the clump of raves at once. But spore colonies are fantastic counters to raves. They fire so fast and do so much damage that um, 15 damage, I believe, and they fire super fast, too. Yeah, raids really are completely useless against spores. Lita is doing a good job picking off these hydralis with his raids. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with Lita's uh, uh, ability to micro his raids against hydralis. I don't think he's lost a single wraith yet at this point. Some are surely heavily damaged, but uh, impressive uh, micromanagement, certainly, from Lita. However, ooh, Lita coming, coming to the back, picking off quite a few more uh, drones, stopping mining, picking off two drones. Uh, these Hydralis finally manages to catch some of the rays, but again, not picking any off. So I have to take my words back, Lita with excellent rape control, and Jadong moving out lurkers without Hydralis escort. I'm not sure whether that's wise. Lita has a lot of rage. If Lita scans, uh, or, or moves out the scout and then scans, he could destroy those lurkers with his rays, and Jadong cannot afford to lose those lurkers. Jadong has used his overlords, sacrificial overlords, to scout. I think that's very important for Jadong. He needs to know what's going on. Jadong will stop lurkers. Good for him. So Lita is not going to know unless he has a science vessel out that these lurkers are there, or unless he has flash esque uh, game hack, map hack, game sense. Lita coming in again, abusing that uh, blind spot of the spores and the hydras very well. Darting, he's picked off seven or eight drones at this point. Very nice work from Lita. And actually, at this point, I would say Lita is in a, a good position here. He's got plus one upgrade finish on his Mag Marines. Uh, he's using his rays very nicely, picking off Scourge, picking off uh, all sorts of units, causing uh, significant attrition for Jadon. I would not say that Lita's done enough uh, in a game winning sense at this point. Um, he's still not got his second expansion up. Now he's almost finished his second command center, and he's going to float that over uh, soon to establish his natural expansion. That's good. Yeah, it looks like it might be darting again with these raids and picking off yet yeah, more drones. And Jadong just seems to have a blind spot against these raids for some reason. Uh, raids doing a lot of damage. I don't think Lita's lost a single wraith this game. Or at most, he's lost like one or two. Whereas Jadong um, does not seem really to, to counter this well. Lita moving out with a lot of marines. He probably needs to get a few more medics. Uh, he's also got some tanks, which is nice. Oh, Jadong not stopping his lurkers critically, uh, but Lita not paying attention at all with his marines. Uh, walking all sorts of marines into those lurkers, but Jadong critically not so And Jadong now moving his lurkers in inexplicably against these mag marines and raves. Ah, oh, that was that was not a good move, Jadong. Both players sort of making mistakes there. Jadong, absolutely bizarre decision making. Usually he doesn't do anything quite like that. Now Jadong is moving up his Hydralis as escorts, but but that's not going to be any good because Hydralis suck against Medic Marines. He needs more lurkers. Uh, Lita with a uh, vulture cleverly, and this tank and these Medic Marines are going to absolutely wipe the floor with these Hydralis. No problem. Uh, uh, and and Lita using, for instance, a vulture to stop mining at the 5 o'clock expansion for Jadong. Very nice moves overall by uh, Lita. 
Uh, Jadong put down his uh, hive, morphed his hive earlier, and now he's getting his defiler mount. If he can get defilers out, the game will certainly be even up. But Lita, I would argue, has a decisive military advantage at this rate. I would say that Lita's army could defeat Jadong's without much of a problem. It's up to Jadong to do something clever and try to delay this push coming from Lita. He needs to stop this. Lita looks like he wants to go for attack now. He's massing up all his raves. He's barreling down with a huge force of medic marines and tanks. Uh, Jadong uh, needs to hold out until swarm, or consume rather. He absolutely needs to do this. Jadong massing up his army at the front of his base. I'm not sure whether that was the best thing for him to do. If he kept his army in the middle of the map, it would open him to a flank attack and probably delay Lita's push. But as it is, Lita has managed to push all the way to Jadong's front without opposition at all. He's going to be able to use these raves to pick off the lurkers. Very nice use of the rave. Sea Shanks killing all sorts of lurkers and Hydras. And Jadong just seems outplaying this game. I thought Jadong would be fine considering he went for the appropriate counters, but Jadong just not. Ah, microing his units in the usual manner, not like the absolutely dominant Jadong. Now Lita with a huge force of medic rings and rays barreling down at Jadong front. All Jadong has are a few hydralis and a sunken. The filer does not have consume, no consume, and Lita's gonna win this game. I fear Jadong. Oh, just, just is sad to see that Jadong. So not up to his heights of brilliance. Lita's lost a lot of his Mag Marines, but it doesn't matter. I mean, he has so many raves and tanks coming that he's going to be able to at least cripple Jadong's economy, I feel, uh, with the forces he has. He can scan and use those raves to pick off the lurkers. He's got four more tanks in the back, more medic marine reinforcements coming, and four marines and four medics can wipe out a Zerg base. No problem. Uh, Jadong still not with Consume now. Somehow Jadong has managed to survive. Okay, he has Consume. He's put down a swarm at the front. Lita using his Meta Marines to pick off uh, the Evolution Chamber. He's going for the tech. Jadong still counterattacking, but but even under swarm, those lurkers die. Jadong. Uh, his eyes darting left and right. I think he knows he's lost at this point. Still fighting valiantly, of course. But it's not going to do him any good, and we should see a GG coming soon. It's just so sad to see Jadong not quite up to his usual task. And this is a difference, I think, between Jadong, who's such a great um, mechanics player in general. He didn't oppose Lita at all in Lita's march to his base. He needed to delay. If he kept his and Lita looking exceedingly pleased with himself, as he should be, uh, he certainly demonstrated... Uh, absolutely astonishing Wraith control this game. I'm not sure whether he lost a single Wraith during most of his harassment. Surely he's lost a few towards the end of that attack there, but you know, during his harass, I'm not sure he lost a single one, or maybe just one or two. That is really good control there, I have to say. Uh, but Jadong, you know, I, th I think Lita's advanced Jadong's base, for instance, a greater player a greater Zerg player would have been able to delay that somehow with his units maneuvering about in the middle of the map, whereas Jadong basically let Lita march up unopposed to his front, and that was that. He didn't have consuming time. Going on to set 5.